today's video from Sam Foresso. We're going to show you how you can automate your end of day Z and PLU reports um, into one button press on the NR510F and 520F registers. Uh, so these are the flat keyboard versions of the 500. I'm using the 510F, but the process will be the same if you've got a 520F. Um, so if you're watching this video, you'll be familiar with how the machine works and probably find the reporting um, a bit cumbersome. And also because the amount of button presses involved, um, you can sometimes not get the right report out. So what you're probably currently doing at the end of the day is turning the key round to Z, pressing cash to go into Z reports, cash to go into financial, again to go into financial, and then again to issue your daily report. So this is a financial report, so it is figures only. It is saying how much money has been taken in total, and then the only splits are really to do with whether the um, payment has been taken by cash or by card. There's no PLU information on there. So if you want a daily PLU report, you then have to press clear twice, arrow down to PLU and then press cash to run the um, PLU report a couple of times. You then have to clear back out of the Z mode and turn the key back to the wrench. So what we'll do in this video is pick a button, a function button on the keyboard. So one of these. Um, so it needs to be a spare function key that you do not ever use. Um, I'm going to pick PLU because I don't use that button. Obviously the one you pick might be different, but the process will be the same. So we're going to set that button up to be what's called a macro button. And then we're going to program that macro button with all the key sequences you've just seen. So turning the key to Z, pressing cash, cash, cash to run the Z report and then also to run the PLU report. You don't have to set it so that it runs the Z financial and the PLU report. That's I'm just showing you as a example of how you can set a macro button up obviously with the manual on my video you can basically program any sequence you want into a macro button okay so the first thing you'll need to do and you will need the key marked c so the machine will have a metal mode lock key marked c which will enable you to turn around to the service position pop that in and then turn the key round to service mode you'll then need to go to key assignment line four cash to enter and then when you press subtotal now unless you already know the code you need um, it prints out a list of all the function function keys that you can program onto the machine so you'll be looking for macro one which is um, 347 unless you've already programmed a macro in which case you can set up another one um, but if you're watching this video it's probably the first macro so the code is 347 so you see on the machine, there's a lot of function buttons you can set up, but the limitation of these machines is you, you just haven't got that many buttons spare to be able to set up all the different functions. Um, so the code 347, then hit your spare function key. Make a note of it, because you'll need to obviously know which button is your macro, and then press cash to save. You get a little printout, which is just saying that we've changed PLU number to macro one. The next thing we need to do is to turn the key to the PGM position and then we need to go in and program the macro button. Um, so what's useful to have is a list of the sequence. So you need to know the sequence that you're going to program into the button. Um, so I've jotted mine down here. Um, yours might not be exactly the same, but you'll, you'll need to know it in order to program it. Once you've got your sequence, the process is to go into line three function key and then down to line two macro key. Um, then you press the button that you are programming. So that's the button you've just set up. So mine's this one. You can give it a description using the buttons here. Cash to save. And then now is all the sequences that you want this button to replicate. So the first one for me is to turn the key to the Z position. Just pop that there. So Z and then cash, 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 cash. That's run my, that's the steps to run the Z1 financial report. Then clear, clear. And then I'm now wanting it to run the PLU report. So you can't do arrow downs. You have to press the line number. So it's line three. Obviously, if you're not wanting the PLU report to be automated, this is where you can jump to the end of the programming sequence by, um, by turning the key back to reg. 
but I want mine to do PLU, so it's free, cache, cache, to run the PLU report, and then clear, clear, followed by turning the key back to reg. Then when you're finished, you press um, the button, the macro button, which is that one. You then have to turn the key back to the PGM position. You have to press it again. Yes. Okay, it well, seems a bit vague at the end, uh, but hopefully that's worked. Um, so yeah, clear, clear to get back to program mode. And then from the register mode, the whole idea is now we should press that PLU button and it should basically replicate everything, the turning to the Z, the running of the financial, and then the running of the PLU and returning back to register mode, if I've done that correctly. So to run the financial report, to run the PLU report, so you can see there I've got all my PLUs, sales of each PLU, so how many of each PLU I've sold, total value through that PLU, um, and then also the total on the bottom, and it's returned us back to the register mode. So that's how to set up and use a macro uh, key sequence button on the NR510F and 520F registers. So I hope that video has been helpful. Um, we've got plenty more videos showing you how to get the best out of the NR500 series, which you're welcome to check out. Some of those will be appearing on screen now. You can also subscribe to this YouTube channel or visit sam4shelp.co.uk for more. Thanks for watching.